All right there guys, Mr. Short Hitter here. Today, I'm gonna do my second five best ball video. This is gonna be tier three, top five best golf balls. Check it out. Five holes to go, just play 13. Need to palm away in, gotta hit more greens. Okay guys, so just like last time, we're gonna do 50 yards, seven irons, and drivers. 50 yards, we're gonna do spin, 6,000 plus RPMs is gonna guarantee you at least one point. The ball with the most spin, five points, four points, three, and so on and so forth. With the seven iron, balls that have at least 5,000 RPM to spin, it's gonna be guaranteed at least one point. We're gonna start with the most spin, five points, all the way down to one. We're also gonna do a carry distance of 150 yards. It's gonna guarantee one point. The most carry distance, five points, all the way down to one. With the driver, we're gonna do 2,600 RPMs of spin or less, and also a carry distance of 220 yards will guarantee you one point. Okay guys, so starting from 50 yards, the ball that had the most spin was the Cut DC, 7,757 RPMs of spin. That ball is going to get five points. Second was the True Feel. The Tylus True Feel will get four points. Saint 9 U Pro, three points. Callaway Super Soft, two points. And then the Srixon Soft Feel will get one point for 50 yards. With the seven iron spin, the ball that had the most spin was the Saint 9 U-Pro with 5,764 RPMs of spin. Second, Srixon Marathon, that ball will get four points. The Cut DC will get three. The Bridgestone E12 will get two. And then the Srixon Soft Feel will get one point. With the seven iron carry, the Bridgestone E6 gets five points with 153 yards of carry. The Tylus Velocity, the Callaway Super Soft hit the 150 yard mark on the head. Bridgestone E12 at 149 ties with the Cut DC. So those balls both will get two points. With the driver spin, the Bridgestone E6 had 2,147 RPMs of spin. So that ball will get the five points. Callaway Super Soft, four points. Trixon Q-Star, three points. Trixon Marathon, two points. And then those last four balls, the True Feel, the Soft Feel, the Velocity, and the Gamer all had less than 2,600 RPMs of spin, so they will all get one point. The carry numbers, only one ball had the 220 yards of carry, and that was the Strixon Marathon, so that ball gets five points. The Top Flight Gamer and the Tylus True Feel both tie, so they'll get four points, and then the Saint 9 U Pro and the Bridgestone E6 both will get two points under driver carry. Now, in our extremes, at 50 yards, there was four balls that had less than 5,000 RPMs of spin. The Tylus Velocity, the Bridgestone E6, the Bridgestone E12, and also the Srixon Marathon. All four of those balls will get negative one point for an extreme. With the seven iron, there was one ball that had an extreme with less than 4,500 RPM to spin, and that was the Callaway Super Soft with 4,484 RPM to spin with the seven iron. With the carry of the seven iron, there was only one ball that had an extreme. The Srixon Marathon only had 145 yards of carry, so that ball will lose one point there. And with the driver spin, there was one ball that had over 3,000 RPMs of spin. That was a Saint 9 U Pro of 3,272 RPMs of spin. All right, guys, so now we're ready for the top five. In the number five position, there's actually three balls that tied for third. So I basically had to break the tie. So in the number five position, we have the Saint 9 U Pro. The strengths of the U Pro, if you're looking for a ball with a lot of spin, then this would be the ball for you. This ball had the most spin off the seven iron and from 50 yards also. It had a decent amount of driver carry. Unfortunately, the weakness of this ball, it had too much spin off the driver. It was the worst in that category with 3,272 RPMs of spin. In the number four position, the Strixon Marathon. The strengths of this ball, it led driver distance. It was the only ball in this category to have the 220 yard carry with the driver. It was second in spin with the seven iron and it had pretty good driver spin. The weakness of this ball is from 50 yards, it had a very low spin rate. Actually, it was the lowest among all the balls tested. I put it ahead of the u Pro based on the driver distance and the spin with the seven iron. 
the Tyler's true feel lead and spin from 50 yards it tied for second in driver carry and it had a pretty low spin off the driver weakness was it was a little low spinning uh, with the seven iron and the carry with the seven iron i put this ahead of the other balls because of the feel and because of the amount of spin that this ball generated from 50 yards Now the Cut DC is the number two ball on my list. It led and spin from 50 yards and had a pretty good performance with the seven iron. There was no real weakness. It pretty much had average performance with the carry of the driver and amount of spin that, that the ball produced with the driver. So guys, I have a couple honorable mentions. The Callaway Super Soft was fourth in spin from 50 yards, third with the seven iron carry, and second in spin with the driver. The weakness was the Callaway Super Soft lost a point with low spin with the seven iron and that one point kept it out of the top five my second honorable mention is the top flight gamer the top flight gamer had one point with driver spin and was second in driver distance the top flight gamer was a pretty average performer in other areas and not a bad ball if you can get them at a discount the number one ball in the value category was the Bridgestone E6. The Bridgestone led in both driver spin and seven iron carry. It also picked up two points in driver carry. The weakness was it was very low spinning from 50 yards and not a great amount of spin with the seven iron either. And this was kind of a surprising ball to me when I tested it on course. The ball performed pretty well, but I wouldn't say it was my favorite golf ball. My favorite ball that I've tested and played in this category was the Cut DC. And it was pretty close between those two balls, but the Bridgestone E6 did take the victory. A couple surprises from the test. I was surprised by the spin across the board with the U-Pro. That ball produced a lot of spin from 50 yards, seven iron, and with the driver. I was also surprised by the Callaway Super Soft not making the top five. It didn't miss it by much, but probably my second favorite ball in the testing in this category was the Callaway Super Soft. And the third surprise was really the difference between the E6 and the E12. Those balls were drastically different. So I plan on putting a video together comparing the Bridgestone E6 and the Bridgestone E12 so I can really go into more detail on how those balls perform. The other surprise was overall the tier three balls actually spun on average less than the balls that I reviewed and tested in the tier four. So I was kind of surprised by that. All right guys, I will leave links in the description for all the balls that I've tested in this review. If there's a ball that you'd like to see me add to the next five best balls tier three, please let me know. This is going to be an ongoing testing when I find a ball that performs better than one of the balls on the list I'm going to update this list and put another one together so if you like the video like comment subscribe till next time Mr. Short Hitter out my game's obscene now hooks and big fades it's not my day now why did I play now just clear my head get back in this an outside shot you still can win this